I love to hear the phrase media bias. Who's biased, really? Aren't you biased? If you're conservative, you watch Fox News, you listen to talk radio, perhaps. If you're liberal, you read the New York Times, you watch MSNBC. I mean, people do what they want. They find the media they want to find. Sports, same way. If you're tired of NFL talk all the time, you'll find a baseball blog. You'll find a baseball podcast or basketball. It's so select now. Talk radio came along really with Rush Limbaugh in a big way in 1988. And it's like Branson, Missouri. Branson, Missouri was there for families to go see Andy Williams sing or Tony Orlando and Dawn. They didn't want vulgarity and lyrics. They wanted to go down there and enjoy the family stuff. And so Branson went nuts. Andy Williams was there and Wayne Newton had a theater. Talk radio is the same way. Conservatives found talk radio. Conservatives were not being served by Peter Jennings and Dan Rather and Tom Brokaw or the Washington Post or New York Times or LA Times. No, they found talk radio and then they found Fox. Uh, there were niches in the market for that constituency. When Rush Limbaugh went on the air, they call his listeners ditto heads. Actually, Rush is the ditto head. He agrees with the people who are already there. I'm talking about my fourth grade class election, 1972 presidential race in my class, 31 votes for Nixon, one for McGovern. Those 31 families were already there. When Rush opened his mouth, he had his audience built in. So we talk about bias, a good idea, since there are two sides to every question, and the answer is usually somewhere in between. During the run-up to the war in Iraq in 2003, 2002, 2003, I would read stories in The Guardian, a socialist newspaper in London, and get contrarian stories about the weapons. Because we had a Republican president, Paul Wolfowitz and Dick Cheney and the gang were going hardcore on that. Now with Obama in the White House, I'll read the Wall Street Journal editorial page. You've got to have a balance. You'll enjoy life a lot more if you're balanced, even though you probably think I'm biased, because you know what? So are you. My two minutes, my two cents are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCoshin, the lobbyist who can get things done downtown, pass a law, pass a referendum. That's Bill McCoshin, Capital Consultants. See you next time.